All right, we are back with finishing up uh, this character side. So we're, this one obviously going to be db underscore care dot lua, and db is for a database. So in here, we're not going to actually have a lot, but it's going to be mp dash dot dot db equals uh, obviously it equals mp dot that or open brackets. And we could do the same thing with mp dash admin player admin player and that's just going to equal open brackets so first things first we're going to want to do a mp dash dat db dot load character which we've seen before in our i believe it was our last one where we're loading a character let's see just make sure this is right yes so right here we are loading this character and it's going to be a function, obviously, function. And what we are grabbing from here is going to be a source, a license, an identifier, as well as CID. And we're just going to end this right now and write everything inside of it. So local SRC equals source. Uh, I do that just because at this point, it's not a player. It's just a source. We're just grabbing it. So I like to sort of have that. Little difference. So, and then we'll do a local player data. So, local player data going to be open bracket, and inside we're going to do an identifier uh, equals identifier. Add a comma after that because we're going to have multiple. So, and then license equals license, comma after that as well. CID equals CID, comma. Uh, name, oops name equals get player name and we're going to pass through source here and then add another comma uh so cache is going to equal mp dot starting dot cache cache comma and then bank is going to equal that mp dot starting dot bank comma and then you will have your citizen ID. So citizen ID is going to equal, add some quotes here and quotes as well. And we will do a dot dot CID dot dot. Add the dash in here. Uh, dot dot identifier. Dot dot and quote. And we'll add the comma right there as well. And that's going to be it. We're adding commas so it goes through the list, obviously. And then we will have a mp dot functions dot load player. Uh, this time it's not loading a character; it's going to be loading the correct player. And we're going to do a source. We're going to pass through player data, and we are also going to pass through the CID. So why it's not loading character? Loading player is so loading character was to set up all your characters. Loading player is going to set up this one player that you are actually going into. So it's loading this character and it's get, grabbing what the character has and then it's loading you in as a player. So that's sort of like the difference uh, on how I see it. So now we're going to want a mp.db. Uh, does user exist? Uh, this is going to be a function. We're going to pass through an identifier as well as a callback. So we're going to want something back off of this. And we're just going to end this here. And what we're going to end up doing is triggering an event. And in this event, it's just going to be mp-base uh, colon server colon. And we'll add this does user exist here. And then we'll do a identifier and a callback here and what this will do is just make sure this player or user exists in our database another quick one mp.db db dot save player um, this one won't really have a use uh, except we will be calling it when the player is saved or when the player is logging out um, it's not really actually doing anything except we're going to have a print here. So we're printing it in the console uh, mp-base and then we will do a 
add a space in here so we have a little gap. And we will do a dot dot get player, oops, player name. And we'll pass through the source here. Dot dot and then was saved. Was saved successfully. So uh, we'll, we can call this whenever. Uh, and it basically will just print in our console and say the player was saved successfully. And that's all it really does. Next, we're gonna register a server event, add an event handler here. And these two work together as they are gonna be mp-admin colon, oops, colon setup, set up. Uh, this bottom one, we're gonna pass through a function. What are we passing through? We're gonna pass through a source as well as an identifier. And that up. And we'll just pass through mp.admin uh, dot setup and we're going to pass through that source and identifier and now um this is going to be a very interesting way of doing it and we're just going to set this up but probably edit it in the future to uh, change a lot more things but mp.admin dot setup it's going to be right here and it's going to equal a function where we are grabbing source and identifier obviously so we're going to end that end it off right here and inside is actually going to be an x source so I'm going to copy and paste this over uh so what we're actually doing is we're selecting star so everything from ranking where identifier equals identifier and why we're doing identifier here is so it's not limited per player. So it's not limited on your character. It's limited on your identifier. So any character you create, no matter what, you will have that same identifier being your Steam ID, meaning you will have admin powers. So right after here, we're gonna do a local self. Uh, we're gonna do self A, which is basically self admin. Uh, open bracket, oops, bracket needs to be open and then we will do a basically we're going to copy and paste this down a couple times and just make sure everything is good so self a dot data uh and that's going to equal the brackets uh self a dot functions is going to equal open brackets now i'm going to add a little space because this is a little different so data dot identifier equals result result one dot identifier and we're gonna basically copy this over because it's gonna be data dot user group and that's gonna equal your result one dot user group as there is gonna be only result only one result for your ranking now what we're gonna do is self a looks like this self a dot functions dot set group so we're gonna have to set a group here and it's gonna be a function we're gonna grab group through here and inside we're gonna do self a self a dot data dot user group equals group so we're gonna grab the group that you're currently equaling and we're gonna pass through mp dot functions dot set group and then it's going to be oops not we're going to pass through self a as well as the group that you are going to be in and then we're going to end that right there we're going to mp dot a player is it admin player mp dot a player mp dot uh we're gonna have to double check this real quick Double check where do we put this? Players, right? A player. So it is a player. My bad. Uh, 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 uh. So we'll do a player because it's admin player. And that's going to be source equals self A, which is self admin. Uh, we're going to print out uh, self A dot data dot user group 
just to make sure we're getting the correct uh, thing here. And now we're going to execute a command, which we're adding a principal identifier, result one group. Uh, and in here, we are basically sending this to the server console saying that it's ex executing an add principal identifier, uh, which basically makes you this, makes you have powers basically. And then we're going to add a print here. So this print does the same exact thing. It just grabs result one identifier and, uh, oops, not self one, uh, self a, and basically just make sure that you have the correct identifier and you're set to the correct group. And just like that, we're going to end that off right there. And that is actually it for db.characters. But now uh, we could add this. Uh, we're going to have a player folder. So in mp.base, we're going to have a new folder player. And we're going to add a new file in here called player.lua. In player.lua, we're going to have mp.player equals uh, open brackets here and mp.player.load data. And that's going to be equal to a function, which is going to be source identifier, and the CID is going to get passed through as well. Um, so now I'm going to run through this. I'm going to run through it not that quick, but somewhat quick. Obviously, it's going to have an export here. So we are exporting where player from identifier and the CID. So we're not using citizen ID here, um, even though we could potentially use it uh, we're not so in here we're gonna have a local self and this is why uh, I did self a for the admin one is because we use local self here so if you don't do this they're basically almost gonna rewrite themselves and not work correctly uh, then we'll have self dot data equals open bracket uh, self dot functions equals open bracket let's add another space here and we're gonna have basically almost the same exact thing here, but I'm just going to copy and paste some of these. So we're going to have self data player ID, which is your source identifier. We are getting through this result. So result one identifier, license, name, CID, job, first name, last name, cash, and bank. And now we're going to have a few uh, things like adding cash or giving cash and so stuff like that. So these are going to be self functions. So self dot functions dot add cash, which is equal to a function uh, amount. And we end this right here. And this is just a simple MP dot functions dot add cash and self comma amount. And then we will do self dot data dot cash dot cash equals self dot data dot cash plus amount. Um, and we're just going to copy this. Uh, instead of add cash, it's going to be give cash. So give cash uh, self amount and works the same exact way. Uh, add cash, give cash is literally the same thing. Almost completely useless. I don't actually need to add this. Uh, but we'll just have it anyways. And then we'll have a remove cache right here. So remove, oh, remove cache. And uh, obviously instead of plus amount, it's a minus amount. It's crazy how that one works. Um, so we'll have two more here and we're going to basically just write all of these. So add bank and instead of cash bank, bank. And this is going to be just give bank. And then we will have a remove bank as well. Remove bank. And then we'll have a set cache, which if you're admin, this works a lot better. So self functions, oops, functions dot set cache equals equals amount or function my bad function and then amount amount and in here mp not mp self dot data dot cash equals amount 
which is actually sort of dumb how we're doing this, but you're just literally passing through mp dot functions dot set dash and you're gonna pass through self and amount and 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 we're gonna do the same exact thing for your bank. Crazy how that one works, right guys? Uh so and so so set cash is gonna be set bank and then bank right here, change it to bank. And do that is it. So inside of here, we're not actually quite done. We're just gonna set a MP dot players and then source equals self. And let me make sure I did this correctly. I think we actually missed out. No, we did it. MP dot a players, my bad. It's not a, a player, it's a players because we're adding multiple. Okay. But other than that, that is going to be your database. So we're done with that. Uh, next is going to be the UI. Uh, this one might not be shown actually right away as I want to create a whole different UI for this. So it might take a little bit and you guys might see a different UI in the video, but uh, that video will come out probably at a later date. But thanks for watching. Any questions, discord comments, Leave it in the comments, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching.